Hello, and welcome to step four out of seven total steps for tracking production out in the field. Today we will be covering taking photos and adding notes to individual pages of a project. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enter into the page that we're working in for that day. So for this exercise, let's go with Camillus Wall and ACT, the first page. And here I am. So this screen will look very familiar as it's the same screen that we used in the last video, step three, for tracking our production. So let's say we've done all that and now we want to snap some photos of the work we've done or snap photos of any problematic areas of the job where we might need more information or have any questions whatsoever. So to begin, we're going to refer to our right hand side in the toolbar that we see there. And we're going to start with the second icon from the top, which is our camera icon. So if we tap that icon, it's going to pull up a photo library and you have access to 150 of the most recent photos from your iPad's camera roll. And if you slide from right to left, you'll be able to go in and select which photo you'd like to use. So let's do that first. We'll go ahead and just take our finger and tap that photo. And now it allows you to add some annotations and some comments. So we can, again, tap one of these color blocks with our finger and circle something. We can add a little comment here. Need RFI or whatever the proper comment may be. And once we have it set up how we want, we just hit save. And now it prompts you to touch anywhere to place photo. And what it wants you to do is place a little icon wherever on this background image represents the problem in real life. So if the problem is happening in this closet room here, we're gonna zoom into this closet room and just tap our finger right in there. And that will effectively create the icon. And now if we tap that icon with our finger, we're actually gonna see the photo itself. And this is what the personnel in the office will see when reviewing as well. When they come into this page, they'll see this icon click it with their mouse and see the photos that you're communicating with them. We have the option to delete this photo placement or we can add another photo to it, which again allows us to either take our own photo or use another one from our role here. So let's go ahead and just use another. We'll hit save and there we go. Now I've added another photo to this role. So if we wanna take our own photo, we'll follow the same steps, but we will hit take photo instead. And then we just use this camera button here to snap the photo. And we look on the bottom right hand corner where it says use photo or in the left hand corner, if we don't like the one we took, we can use retake. But let's click use photo. And again, it brings us up to the same screen and the functionality will be the same. So we'll annotate, add a comment and hit save. And again, it wants us to place it on the background image. So if the problem is by the office, by the door book, we'll go ahead and place it right there and we're good to go. So now we've placed two photos. Let's talk about placing a note. Notes are created by using the icon below the camera, which is the text message notification looking icon. If we tap that with our finger, it brings up a text box to enter in the note that we need. For example, need electrician here. And once we hit save, again, we are prompted to do a similar function as to what we did with the photo icon and tap and place the note somewhere. So let's place one in this office room down here, 103, and there's our note icon. And again, when reviewing either in the iPad or in the portal, if they tap that note icon, they will see the text box and see the note. And again, I can edit the note and add more to the text or I can delete it if I'd like to. And so now that we've got our photos and notes, we are pretty much finished. The next video will cover how to upload these photos and notes along with your production to the cloud so that all that data can be seen in the portal. Right now, we've placed it on the page, but only in a local fashion on our iPad device. One thing I wanted to cover before finishing up today is that any photo that you take inside the Edge on Site application automatically will be added to your iPad camera roll. So if we leave the Edge on Site application for a moment and go into our photos, we can see that most recent photo I took here. So they'll automatically be saved to your camera roll for future reference. And lastly, you can refer back to this video after watching the next one, but once you have all of these photos uploaded, you can now access them inside the files manager here by using the bottom toolbar. So I've actually had a few photos uploaded so that we can take a look at the files manager and see. This will be a central location for all photos that you take with the iPad. Whenever they are uploaded, they will automatically be placed in this files manager as well with a date and a user stamp. Notes do not appear in the files manager. You will also see any Excel, 
spreadsheets, Word documents, PDFs, or many of the various type of image files in here that were added from the portal. So it really envelops the two-way communication. But for the purpose of this video, this is where you come to see all the photos that you've taken once they're uploaded and the page in which they were on. Alrighty, thank you for watching and I hope that helped. Thanks for watching step four.